That's called payback for whenever you were a kid and you did that. Try to get you out of your car seat. He doesn't want to be bothered with you. <laughs> the only way to do this is by like pick him up. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna lick my butt if you keep it, and then I'm gonna lick your face. <laughs> what is your problem, dude? I was sleeping. <laughs> Look at him, he's all nervous. Leave him alone. So, no, lick his face. Yep, lick his face. Butts. I'm just gonna go back to sleep now. What is, what is, what is going on? Oh, I, I think I smell something like dinner. Good morning, everybody. I'm doing dishes because our dishwasher broke. So, I tried running it on Saturday. And, no, Monday. And on Saturday, Jeff and Trevor thought that they saw something downstairs, like some sort of rodent. So, Jeff blocked off the hole where he thought it was coming from. And then on Monday, tried running the dishwasher throughout the day, like, and I, it just sounded weird, so I kept shutting it off. And then Jeff went downstairs, and there was water all in the workshop part of the basement, uh, ruined a few tiles and stuff like that. And basically, this said rodent came in and chewed the hose that goes from the dishwasher to, like, the water valve. Uh, so he ordered a new hose, but in the meantime, now I'm hand-washing dishes until that comes in, which kind of stinks. Um, so I've just been like old school filling up one side of the sink with water, letting the dishes soak and then washing them, but it just sucks because it takes so much time, you know, to hand wash dishes, which I know I'm spoiled in the fact that I do have a dishwasher and always have, but it's like, ugh. So I'm loading up the dishwasher now, I'm dealing with that, and yesterday was just a really rough day. Like. I ended up having to leave the gym because I had to deal with just, it's like a bunch of stuff hit me at once. Like I had to deal with something at Ellie's school. I had to deal with something for a PTA event that I'm in charge of. And then there was like a PTA meeting thing. Um, a couple clients I needed to deal with. And I was like forgetting to add attachments. I was like responding to the wrong email. Like I was just a hot mess. And then... This morning, I go to get Ellie out of the car and notice her pants have a hole in them in the crotch. So I'm like, are you kidding me? Go to get her extra outfit out of her bag and it's a summer outfit because I haven't changed it out yet. So I'm like, oh my God. So get her into the classroom, put her shorts over her pants. Now she has cheetah print leggings on and these like blue mosaic tiled shorts. Come back home, get her thing and in the time... Um, Aubrey's teacher emailed me about something and she said, you forgot this in the attachment. I'm like, oh my god, like, what is wrong with me? Like, I can't even stand myself right now. So after all that was done, I finally got to the gym. I worked out a little bit, went and did a return, and then Trevor texted me, mom, you forgot my 504 meeting yesterday. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> like, I no idea what's wrong with me. I am just completely out of it. Just, I, I have no idea. So yeah, that's what I'm dealing with. So I'm trying to clean up the kitchen a little bit, which is hard when you have a dishwasher that's pulled out and you know dishes everywhere that constantly need to be drying. Um, but I really need to go up and fold some laundry. But I also need to like put up a video, but I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna kill myself over it because the fact of the matter is I said that I can't do vlog days every single day. It's just not gonna happen. Um, so, that just probably won't get done today, filming video-wise, because I really do need to get all the laundry caught up. Because um, I have a meeting tonight at uh, Aubrey and Casey's school for PTA. And then I have to stay later to do something, so it's just like, today is just probably not going to have that video. Because I still need to like straighten my hair for that meeting and whatever, but... Yeah, that's pretty much what I've been dealing with. And I'm just like, I need, I'm like, I can't stand myself. I need to figure out like what is going on and like get it together because this is not okay with me. Um, but I did talk to my brother 
this morning about the Christmas present he sent to the kids and I think he's going to get me a dot because um, Trevor really wants a dot for Christmas and then I found out that you can like tap into them I forget what someone called it like you can tap into dots and stuff like that and so that would be really nice so that we're not like screaming in the house all the time so yeah that is what um, how my morning went and then yesterday I got a lot of my Black Friday purchases in Wrapped a lot of kids all got for each other, and there's another one right there you can't see. So they all have done their shopping, which I'm happy for. And then this tree, which I need to turn on, has all of the presents that we've bought for them. And these were all stacked up, so either the kids are going through them or the cat is. And then this tree has the presents um, to and from my mom and the cat keeps getting in this tree like I came home today when he didn't think I was going to be home and he was in the tree and it made me really really mad but so they have that's a present from my mom but I'm going to put all of like my mom's presents to the kids and our presents to my mom here so on Christmas morning we can have it separated because she's very big and like she wants the kids to know you know what came from her or whatever so yeah it's kind of cool having two trees like here's this one and it's off in this corner and then I'll go plug in that one and you can see how cool it looks. debating on moving the couches and having like this one slide over and have that one here be like a sectional kind of for Christmas so you can see the main tree and then you can get out that way or this way but I don't know I may actually do that right now Maybe I want to settle down Yes, I don't know. I mean, it's not perfect, but it might work for the time being. You know what I mean? And then that way we have like open space to that because that's how we do it on Christmas morning, anyways. We move that couch there. So it probably makes more sense. It's just hard the way the layout of the house is because this is into the kitchen and dining room and basement. I mean, you can go all the way around that way, but so yeah. That's that. Now I need to sleep up the mess I made and water my tree for today. Good morning, everybody. I had a freaking awesome workout this morning. If I'm being completely honest, I've been up in weight for a little bit, but I'm still. And some of it is like just me not drinking water and stuff like that. So I don't truly believe I'm up in weight. I think I just need to like get back into my water and then I also need to cut out the bread and stuff again so um, I've been having like really bad workouts so I'm just getting in my head about weight and numbers and all that stuff and, and I do pretty good with it but then sometimes I have these moments whenever I just can't stop focusing on that number on the scale even though like I obviously see changes but today was just a kick butt workout I just I haven't had a workout that good in a long time and I went in like not wanting to work out I was very happy with that so um, I have gas points that are expiring today I want to do my grocery shopping for the day um, so I am heading home real quick because I'm just I'm too sweaty to be walking around like this so I'm gonna head home real quick and get gas cans because when we fill up with gas points right now I have 70 cents off so I'll normally we fill up my car Jeff's car and our gas cans but unfortunately he didn't realize that and he filled up his car yesterday so I'm going to fill up my car and the gas cans to get as much of that discounted gas as possible and then he'll use those gas cans to fill up his car next week. So that'll save some money there. And then um, I'm going to go grocery shopping.
shopping according to our meal plan and just have another really low week and then we'll be through November. November was a very, very tough month for us financially. We um, just had to take care of some stuff and my husband worked basically so much that he essentially got a whole extra paycheck with all the extra work he did plus he got like some bonus money which definitely helped but it was a tight month and we just have to get through the next week and then I'll feel like we can breathe again you know what I mean and um, we are gonna just really stick with the Dave Ramsey hardcore stuff that we've been doing no eating out no extras no nothing um, just pretty much go to school work gym that's it we go to church on Sundays we go you know grocery shopping and stuff like that and that's really it we have some money set aside for when grandma visits but that's it and that's our fun that we're looking forward to this um, month in December because in November we had you know Thanksgiving and we did a little bit of Black Friday Christmas shopping which is our fun for the month so yeah it's it's been tough it's been real tough I'm not gonna lie but um, I feel good today. I feel like really rejuvenated. So I'm going to go home and take a very fast shower and just wash my hair and let it go curly or wavy or whatever it decides to do today. And then um, get all those errands done so that uh, tomorrow I can kind of rest and relax. So I'm very, very tired. I have slept like five to six hours on average for the past like four days. So I definitely want to spend this weekend to get caught up on rest as we have nothing to do Saturday. We have church in the morning on Sunday and then there's like a um, music worship type thing at night um, called it's Emmanuel something. I forget what they're calling it but I would really like to go see that and I don't think everyone will go but maybe some of us will go. I think like maybe me and Aubrey. Ellie maybe. Um, so we have that this weekend but then next week we have I have to start prepping for the event that I'm hosting for the PTA. Uh, we have breakfast with Santa at school on Saturday. We have the holiday shop starts that Saturday and then the whole next week I'll be doing that. And then we have, um, Casey has a chorus uh, like event and then Aubrey has a chorus event next week. So it's like, I wanna rest this weekend because I know next week is going to be crazy. And we have a lot of like crock pot meals for dinner next week because I know it's just going to be nuts, so. Yeah, I'm gonna head home, shower, and get going on the week, and then that should wrap up this vlog. I didn't, get, well, I filmed a QA, and a but it was so bad. Like, the kids just kept interrupting, so I have to film another Q&A. Um, but yeah, so you guys had a lot of videos for Thanksgiving week, but it's gonna kind of slow back down now because I just don't have a lot of footage to film. And unfortunately, I film on my phone, and I know how hard it is for people to hear, so I don't like to film a lot on my phone uh, when I'm this busy because no one can hear anything. I mean, I turn up my speakers and my volume, or if I have headphones on, I can hear fine. I mean, it's quiet, but I can hear it, but I know some people can't, so, yeah. When I came home, realized Aubrey had left her lunchbox at home. Again, this is like the second time this week. So I have to go to the school anyways and give something to her teacher. I've got gel in with my Mickey ring. Um, I have to go give something to her teacher anyways. So, oh, this is cute. So I will uh, drop her lunchbox off too, but it's just like, really, Aubrey, get it together. And I was telling Jeff this morning, I'm like, we went through the same crap with Trevor, where it was like, he was really mouthy and forgetting things, losing things. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can do this for three more kids. <laughs> like. Come on guys, get your crap together. Mom is a hot mess enough. You guys can't be. You guys have gotta have your crap together. But whatever. So yes, I'm going to the school and then I'll go do The lady at Chick-fil-A tried to kill me. I ordered a sweet tea. She asked me in the little like when I put it in her Unsweet? No, I said sweet. Okay. I get there. This is an eight count meal and an unsweet tea. I said, no, a sweet tea. Then the lady that was giving me the drink, she's like, I noticed she took the drink away, and she's like, it's supposed to be unsweet. Or, yeah, it's supposed to be unsweet. I said, no. I said, did I do anything to hurt you? Like, did I offend you in some way? And she's like, what? I said, I said, that's a sweet tea for the first time. And she started laughing. I'm like, does this look like I drink unsweet anything? I just took my first sip, and it's an unsweet freaking tea. So now Chick-fil-A is on my list.
of the school year. Tell him what she said. Or he, what, tell her what he said. So, I have, the, so I have my friend. Moving and losing your lips. <laughs> and then, and then, so I do I asked him, and then he told me, he, was, he said no, and then he was like, why do you want to know? And I was like, because everyone keeps saying, and he's like, I like you as a friend and a little bit more, but not a girlfriend. And then, him and his dad and his girlfriend keep pointing with me, and his dad was like looking over, and I'm like, bro, are you freaking weird? Your mom's over there dying. I'm the guy in the voice. <laughs> Oh, it's recording, and it today's it's Tuesday today, and we have a pretty hard. I can wait to go on. I can wait to end this presentation for me. So you might get it, and I'm trying to get it. So there's a pencil for Trevor. Trevor. There's a pendant for Ellie. There's a pendant for Casey. There's a pendant for Abby. That's Abby's pendant. What do you have to say about yourself? Thank you, Pensiana. I have to say, thank you, Elf! You want to see the elves? 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 This is Jack. He is hiding. If it focuses, then it'll be good. Yeah, there's Jack. You can see him clearly. And this is Ginger. Ginger is the youngest, and Jack is the oldest, and tallest, and you're short. You're just like me. Right, Ginger? What do you have to say about yourself? You stole Jack's costume. Where's your football one? Tell us where you put your football one. And Jack, you should wear that football one. So then you guys were both wearing a costume. Well, remember last video we made s'mores? If you haven't watched it, check it out.